How does the height of a dam affect the temperature of the water? Well, it's complicated. In many cases, it's been pointed out that smaller run of the river dams raise the temperature of the water downstream with adverse effects to wildlife. On the recently demolished Klamath River dams, water temperature was cited as a major reason for decommissioning. When the water in the reservoir sits in the hot sun, it can become a breeding ground for algae, leading to higher levels of toxins downstream. But it's more than just the toxins. Many species of fish have a threshold to how warm the water can get. And in places like the Lower Snake River, this is a valid concern. But here's where things get complicated. Dams don't automatically warm up the river. In many cases, they do the opposite. This is Dorjak Dam in North Idaho. It's one of the tallest dams in North America with over 600 feet of water behind the dam. And while the top 30 to 50 feet of water in the lake is definitely exposed to the sun and, and warms up over the course of the summer, all the deep water stays nice and cold year round. Dorjak is equipped with special temperature select gates, which allows the operators to choose whether they take water from the warmer areas up top or the cold areas down below. And so extra cold water comes out of the North Fork of the Clearwater, where it mixes with the water of the Snake River and cancels out the extra warmth brought by the Lower Snake River dams. 